My BMW G310R went for its first service at around 1000 km on the Odo where the oil change was done at the authorized service. The service manual recommends 5W40 grade engine oil but here in India BMW uses 15W50. So before directly jumping to a 5W40 grade engine oil, I wanted to gradually bring down the viscosity. Hence this time I wanted to try a good 10W50 engine oil with lower viscosity values. In the past we have reviewed quite a few 10W50 grade engine oils on the channel so this time I decided to try the new Superbike engine oil from Castrol. So this stock engine oil was immediately drained and I gave it away to my friend for his first gen Yamaha FZ which runs on 15W50 grade. The Power and Ultimate series of engine oils have proved themselves really well and I'm saying this from the lab test videos that we did on them. But if you remember those videos, I appreciated Castrol for providing value for money options to riders. But I guess that does not work here in the case of Power and Ultimate Superbike engine oil as it retails for rupees 1200 MRP for a liter which makes it one of the most expensive engine oils available on sale. Now coming to my experience, this review is coming after doing 2000 plus kilometers with the Power and Ultimate Superbike 10W50 in my BMW G310R. I did use it in the city as well as on the 1500 kilometers ride to Hyderabad and back, which pretty much cleared up a lot of stuff about the engine oil. By now it is clear to me that the G310R kind of runs hot, so the engine oil has a big responsibility to play here. I did not find any big difference inside the city although I must say that the engine never overheated even when I was doing city riding in peak summer but I did find the temperature gauge to be running a bit cooler on highways even when I was pushing the motorcycle for long durations the power and ultimate superbike did an excellent job on my mumbai pune hyderabad ride and back where one side 700 kilometers was done in a single day the gear shift experience has improved a bit and it is noticeable when you shift from first to second by passing the neutral On a technical view you will notice that Castrol has formulated this engine oil by keeping the viscosity low and I'm not comparing it with other 15W50 engine oils but with other 10W50 engine oils where the Superbike engine oil has got a kinematic viscosity of 16.9 mm2 per second which should lead to lower viscous resistance and better performance this also indirectly points that Castrol must have formulated this engine oil for protection from wear and tear on a different scale as the viscosity index of 169 is really good and it speaks a lot about the viscous stability of the engine oil even at high temperature i must say that i am impressed but a lab test is definitely needed for this engine oil which will clear up a lot of stuff like tbn values additive formulations along with the wear and tear caused by using this 10w50 grade engine oil let me know in the comment section if you want a lab test revealing all this stuff Now coming back to my observations the high rpm performance of the superbike engine oil is noticeably better than the stock bmw engine oil and this has been confirmed by another bmw rider who rode my g310r some engine oils do have a tendency to show drop in oil level after the initial running but even after 2000 plus kilometers of riding the oil level is intact in my case There are some really interesting observations with the fuel efficiency numbers and i am planning a separate video on it as i have a lot to share in that video My overall experience with the Power and Ultimate 10W50 Superbike engine oil has been really good and it should have been so otherwise I could have never justified the price tag as our expectations are directly proportional to the price we pay for the product so that's it for this video and I hope you guys have liked it